welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree um, school lunch ideas. So I recently asked you guys in one of my last Dollar Tree hauls if you guys would be interested if I went into Dollar Tree and I shared with you guys a few things that you can use for your kids lunches just to make it a little more fun. Things that I use for my kids lunches and then if I find anything new in there I can share with you guys as well. And a lot of you guys said yes and I don't know when school starts for your children but for my kids school's about to start in less than two weeks so a week and a half school will start they start the first week of august so i thought why not start rolling out all of my back to school videos i'll be doing this one i also plan on doing a um, back to school haul i'll share with you guys like school supplies clothes shoes stuff like that and then i'm also planning on filming all of their lunches for the first week of school showing you guys different ideas for little ones my kids are going to be in kindergarten and first grade so i'll be sharing the lunches that i'll be packing for them so that's what today's going to be i know this is a long intro so i apologize so we're sitting out in front of dollar tree right now i don't know if you guys can see but we've never been in to this dollar tree so hopefully yes, i will find right everything today. that i want to find i do have a few things at home if i don't find in there i'll just share with you guys once i get home so let's head into dollar tree and see what we can find yes and it, i never been at this dollar tree before mm. i bet it would be, have good toys Bye. So the first thing I want to share with you guys are these really cute lunchbox notes that I found this year and I bought two boxes of these for my kids. There's 18 in each box and there's six different designs. So straws is always a really great option. They have a ton to choose from at Dollar Tree. They just have regular traditional ones, plain ones, and then they also have some really cool ones over at the party section. A lot of them don't say happy birthday on them, like these princess ones. They also have SpongeBob, and they also have Ninja Turtles. They have so many different ones that you can choose from, and you can throw in their lunchbox for them to have with their drink. I also really like to use these clear bags, I believe are meant for like party favors or like snack bags when you give away candy at a party or something, but I like to use these and put some snacks in for the kids in their lunchbox and it just makes it a little more cuter. I also like to buy silverware from Dollar Tree because my child likes to lose everything. So if he loses this plastic silverware, it's not a big deal. So I always buy like a few different colors and then I let him choose what color he wants in his lunchbox. Also napkins is another great great idea. Dollar Tree has so many napkins. A lot of them do say happy birthday on them, but as you guys can see, I did find a lot that did not say happy birthday that had really cute designs. So cupcake liners is another really great option. I like to buy them and I always buy them around the holidays as well when they have like Halloween and Christmas ones and they come with really cute picks as well. Party favors like these are really cute. You can throw on top of their sandwich or just in their lunchbox just to make it a little more fun. I also really love these Lego containers. Once I get home, I'll show you guys how I open it and what I usually put in the kids' Legos when I put it in their lunchbox. Also, this is really cute. I always put some syrup in there if I pack the kids like breakfast for lunch we can totally put salad dressing in it which is what it's meant for also they have a ton of different containers you can choose from so they have all of these sandwich containers they also have like the little circle ones i usually use those to put like fruit in there for the kids and i believe for these they have maybe like five different designs but there's so many other containers that you can choose from they also have one that comes with silverware right here and this one i believe comes in like three colors three or four different colors so definitely check out dollar tree for containers they have so many different size options colors there's even one that comes with like a little ice pack on the top to keep the food nice and cool so definitely check out dollar tree they also have a ton of different brands And these are the ones that come with the little ice pack on the top like I was telling you guys earlier. And I believe there are different sizes in this and also different colors. They also have these mini little lunch bags I thought is a great option to put the kids snacks in if they have snack time so they know that 
that is their snack and it's not part of their lunch. They also have these water bottles. I've never used them for the kids, so I'm not sure how well they work or if they leak. I just thought I would share with you guys because they are really cute. They also sell ice packs if you guys are in need of ice packs for your kids' lunch boxes. They do have them at Dollar Tree. Then I thought I would share with you guys all these other silverware options. If you don't want the ones from the party section, they do have other silverware options at Dollar Tree. These little colorful picks are another great option if you pack any type of finger foods for your kids. I also want to show you guys all these notepads. If you guys didn't want to use those cards that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video, you can totally just buy really cute notepads and write your child a note to put in their lunchbox. I know my son loves when I do that. It makes him really happy. I also found these sticky notes I think would be really cute if you wrote notes on. There's a bunch of different designs and colors that I found. I think the kids would really love it. A lot of them were super colorful as well. Well. All right, you guys, so I am now back in the car from going in to Dollar Tree, and I really did try my best to film as many things as possible for you guys for school lunch ideas. Now, the aisle that I wanted to record in, there was a worker down there, and she kept on watching me um, every time I would pull out my camera, and I didn't want to get kicked out, so I was trying to sneak and record it. So hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully I was able to get some good footage for you guys. The only thing that I did not find, which is sometimes hard to find, that I usually buy for the school lunches for the kids is Disney Ziploc bags. Sometimes Dollar Tree will carry Ziploc bags and they will have like Paw Patrol, um, Disney princesses, and then I think Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Those are the four that I usually find if I do find it, but I did not see it in this location. That is another school lunch item that you can get from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna go home now and I will check to see if there's anything that I did not find in store that I want to share with you guys. And if there is, then I will insert that all the at the end of this video so hopefully i gave you guys a few ideas for your little one's school lunches i love trying to make my kids lunches really fun and festive it just makes them feel special and it makes them happy when they open up their lunch boxes and also it's super affordable so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video i'm pretty sure there's like one or two things at home that i want to share with you guys before i close out this video so I will go home, show you guys that, and then I will finish out this. Video. All right, guys, so it is so much later, but I do want to share with you guys one more thing that I did not see at Dollar Tree this time around when I went. I did go to a new location, so I'm not sure if that location carries it, but it is these lunch storage towers. So I have a few of these. I have them in gray and also like this um, navy blue color. I believe it's like a teal color as well, if I'm not mistaken, but it's just two different containers you can store stuff in. And then in the center, when you twist it open, it has this little container that you can put stuff in. So you can put like peanut butter or you can put like ranch or anything in here, hummus. So I usually um, put peanut butter in here for the kids. So just opens like that and then it snaps closed and it's really easy. You just put it right back in and you twist it. The kids don't have any problems opening it. It doesn't spill or anything. So I usually will put like apples on this side and like pretzels over here and then i'll put some peanut butter in for the kids so it's another really great thing and then i also want to show you guys those little lego party favorites that i showed you guys in the video what i used it for so it does open if you just push it like that it opens and usually i'll put like one oreo in there for the kids or i'll put like a bunch of like really mini cookies in there i also have put like their fruit snacks in it i'll just open the bag and then put their fruit snacks in here so just a really cute container to store some snacks in and then also i didn't see these at that um dollar tree but they're just like these little mini containers and they just snap open and close so these pink ones i bought for madison and then i also bought the blue ones for ryan and when i bought them they came in a set of three so it was three for a dollar and the last few things i want to show you guys is like holiday stuff so i did show you guys cupcake liners but anytime it's a holiday so like christmas thanksgiving halloween i will buy those types of liners and i use it in their lunch boxes so i have some halloween ones here and then i also use like a bunch of like just festive stuff so i'll put a spider in his lunch box and then these like little um vampire teeth i'll put in between like i'll do like a little mini bagel and i'll put that like in between their mini bagel or sandwich i'll put the teeth in that's really cute and then i'll usually use like these little picks to put in their lunch as well and then they also always have these are supposed to be like um treat bags for when you give out candy but i buy them and then i will put like there are crackers or just any type of snacks in here to make it a little more festive. So, so that's the last thing I want to show you guys that I do for my kids in their lunches. 
let me know in the comments if you guys would like me to do like holiday lunchbox ideas so around the holidays i'll show you guys how i make it super festive for them for like halloween and christmas just give this video a thumbs up and then also let me know in the comments and then once the holidays do roll around i will make sure to film that for you guys i definitely will be filming a back to school week long lunch ideas for kids. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. All right, you guys, so now that I have been rambling on forever, I'm going to finally close out today's vlog. I hope I could have given you guys a few ideas for your little ones, for their school lunches or daycare, or even if you guys go on a picnic just to make their lunches a little more festive, I hope I gave you guys a few ideas for your little ones. As always, if you have not already, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Also turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.